Today, in our science lesson, we're going to make a little project called an electroscope. It's a real tool that scientists in the 18th century used to discover things about electric charge. Uh, there are professional versions that we use in labs. But today, we're going to make a home version that you can do pretty simply, and it makes a real nice middle school level science project. Uh, what we need for this is some kind of glass, some kind of clear container. Uh, I like this fancy, pretty looking wine glass. We can use a simple plastic cup. Some from the kitchen, some uh, plastic wrap or even paper, something to serve as a cover for a wing cover. And the main pieces of our electroscope will be a paper clip, and again from the kitchen, some cheap aluminum foil. And really the cheap thin stuff is the good stuff. Uh, use some tape to put things together. And there are some tools we could use, a nice pair of pliers are sometimes useful. Today I will bend what I need around a piece of wood to show you that it can be done easily on the side of a table. I start by taking my aluminum foil and cutting two pieces of it. The important part here is that the pieces of foil will hang in thin little strips. So the biggest thing for me is to have everything be matched and even. So I cut out a square of my aluminum foil, and I actually measured this before. Not quite a square. But I've folded it in half already so that everything's going to stay evenly matched. Now, if you get thick aluminum foil, you might want to cut thinner, piece, uh, smaller pieces, not as wide, and then just use them as they are. Uh, I've got rather thin aluminum foil, which is really the cheaper kind. It works well here. So I tend to like to cut a wide piece and make a few folds. For the device to really work best, thin is really best. But I find that it's a lot easier to handle things if I fold it up. There'll be a lot of ways you can improve this project. But I'm trying now to make it quickly and show you that it can be done easily. Uh, what I've just folded up here is really enough for both pieces. I like to take this and put it in the book and flatten it out. I'm going to set my foil aside and go on to deal with my paper clip. The paper clip is going to have two functions. First of all, it's going to be the electrical connection between outside and in the glass where the foil is hanging. Electrical connection to the foil. The other function is it serves to hang the foil from mechanically and also uh, to hang itself. So it's going to sit about like that in the glass, which is why I need a cover, part of why I need a cover. Uh, and I'll show you how I bet this to do that. Once you figure it out, it's a fairly simple series of bends. First, I take my paper clip, and I've got to have chosen one that's big enough to work with. So little metal ones are okay, but they're a little harder to work with. Plastic ones are not okay, because I need an electrical connection. Open it up for my first bend. Okay, 90 degree angle. Doesn't have to be exactly 90 degrees. Next, I usually go along the side of the desk, but today I brought a piece of wood so I can show you on the camera. I'm going to bend it. Again, if I used tools like needle nose pliers, this would be much easier to get straight, but I want to bend that. So now it's more or less like this. Okay. Finally, I make another bend in the long section. And the point now is that this long section and most of the shorter section are parallel to each other. This is how it hangs. The nub that sticks out on top is what I connect electrically to. So I've set aside some tape that I match to the size of my glass. I'm going to tape it onto the glass. And now I pull out my foil strips. Again, the point with the foil strips, flat is good, 
matched is important. So I'm going to cut this in half by eye, just quickly. But then I'm going to trim these to look almost exactly the same. And I do that by putting one on top of the other and cutting together. A little waste, but that's okay. Once I have these matched set, I want to use the paper clip to fold them. And they get, they've got to hang loosely on this paper clip. They've got to be able to move around. I just put a little fold in the end of each one. Again, matched is important. Also, you may need to adjust this later. You're going to have to fiddle around a bit to make sure it works at the end. I, wanna, I like to put the little hanging part on the outside. I find it hangs better. Push it down a little with my fingers. And now this is the body of how the electroscope works. But I need it to hang in a quiet environment. So I put it in the glass, hanging from the tape. Now hopefully you see why I bent that the way I did. I want to put another piece of tape to hold it down. This electroscope could actually work now. Oops, if I straighten it out. It's better if I take my plastic wrap and cover the top outside of where the metal is so that the wind can't blow on it. You say there's no wind inside? Well, yes, there is. I'm talking. I also prefer that there's no moisture there, and my talking, my breath is bad for that, too. So I'll take this on later, but just so I can go on quickly, flop these pieces on. Again, have to leave the top of the paper clip exposed. And now it's actually fully built. Uh, I can't claim, though, that it's really built unless I show you that it works. So I take a balloon. I rub that balloon in my hair. And when you rub a balloon made of rubber on a person's hair, it gets a bunch of negative charges on the part you rubbed. I put that on here, touch it to the paper clip. See how those move? They move apart. They have the same electric charge, so they repel each other. This works. It's not ideal. You can improve it a lot. Please do.